Hello folks, this is Steve here, the Zulu. Um, the two pictures you just seen are me holding up an original pressing of the Ramones album. I uh, purchased a couple the other week. Uh, these were unfortunately 180 gram reissues. Um, I sent one to Cloudy and I kept one for myself. I'm a big Ramones fan, but uh, the one you've just seen me hold is actually an original press and it's absolutely in beautiful condition considering its age and also punk records don't tend to be looked after too well um, if anybody wants it I know where it's going uh, sorry I know where it is um, so it'll cost you in the UK a 50 quid uh, in Canada Greg you're looking at 86 dollars and uh, if you're in America it's approximately 65 they're at the today's rate of exchanges. <coughs> I can't uh, justify me spending all that money on a record. I would really love it for the collection, but uh, my budget's 20 quid a pop, a record, or you know. But unfortunately, I just can't um, justify spending that sort of money on a record. So I just thought I'd put the pictures of the uh, film, not to brag. Uh, but just to document the document it that I actually held up an original Ramones pressing. I've seen them in a lot worse condition than that for the same money. Um, you know, but this one was in beautiful condition and it was you know a good price. But if anybody wants it, um, it's at Cambly Rockbox. Uh, if you um, Google them, they're in Cambly. Uh, that's a no-brainer. And uh, just get, uh, ask, ask for Mel, give him a ring, and she'll sort you out. But it is too much for me. But saying that, I went on a bit of record hunt yesterday. I did quite well at the charity shop. And uh, I also went to the rock box and bought a couple of items as well. Um, it's a deep purple uh, themed one again. Cause that's, I don't know what it is just recently. But everything I seem to be picking up is deep purple related. Um, namely... Um, because Richie Blackmore played uh, with a band called Rainbow, and one of my all-time favourite vocalists was in it as well, Ronnie James Dio. Um, so I did pick up a couple of items, but I thought I'd do the charity shop stuff first. And I'm pleased to inform you, we had first rain we've had in over 60 days here. It's getting a bit like South Africa, because apparently they've had a massive drought in Cape Town. They were supposed to be running out of water. But here we just have not had any rain. We had a massive downpour last night. It just freshens everywhere up. It's a lot better to breathe. I'm not moaning like we don't get this sort of weather in the UK. But uh, I hope everybody's okay. I just want to start the charity shop haul for first. And uh, as I said, there's a lot of third albums today for some reason. And this is Bruce Springsteen's third album, Born to Run. Uh, this is uh, one of my top five records of all time. I'm a big Boss fan, but I particularly like this album because it's got the late Clarence Clemens on the back, his saxophonist. And it's also got one of my favourites, but probably my favourite song, I'd say, or very close to being it. And that's not Born in the USA as well, but it's a track called Jungle Land. Uh, it's got an amazing saxophone. Uh, Clarence does an amazing solo. Uh, it's absolutely brilliant. You've got to listen to it. And if, if you haven't listened to it before, just uh, go on the YouTube and bring it up and have a listen. I urge you to do so. But it's got Born to Run, which is an, it's not a song, it's an anthem. And for tramps like me, I sort of love it. And it's got stuff on like 10th Avenue, Freeze Out, um, Backstreets. But this is a definitely a 10 out of 10 album for me, or very close. Um, it's just 1975 it came out and uh, I had I nearly got into a loss, uh, big punch up over this because somebody told me they thought Born in the USA was better than this and uh, I, I disagreed but that's the booklet and I've got, got this on uh, vinyl but uh, it was only a charity shop and it cost me a quid so I'll definitely pick, a, pick up another copy of one of these for a quid all day long but uh, it's just an amazing amazing record but no, I got into a bit of a punch up the guy, not physical, because he always maintained Born in the USA was better than this. I told him to get a life or listen to some more Springsteen. And if you've seen the previous videos, I have been spat at by Springsteen, but it's another story. But yeah, I'm pleased to pick this up. This was 99p. 
And I did uh, listen to a band called Toledo Steel yesterday in the record store, and I absolutely love them. Awesome band. So I shall definitely be looking out for some of their stuff in the f near future. Thanks, Cloudy. The next charity shop find was this album. This is American Southern Rock. I think that's the right genre for it. Black Oak, Arkansas. I picked this one up cheap as well. This is a 1976 press. Um, this guy uh, who was in this, Jim Dandy, I think his name was, but apparently it was rumoured that Dave Lee Roth copied him. But he, I believe, used, they used to back Black Sabbath back in the day, and a lot of drugs and stuff were going on, but it was Black Oak, Arkansas, I believe, I might be wrong, were Black Sabbath's support uh, when they did their Amer first American tour. This would have been around about the early 70s. But yeah, it's just a great band. They've got some great uh, music as well. They've got a nice picture of them at the back. Uh, I'm not arguing, I only pay two quid for it. It's in great condition. It's uh, uh, I'll just show you, it's got one of these inserts, that's it. But it's got like all the lyric sheets separate and you've got the thing like that at the back. But yeah, it's got one of these pretty um, uh, labels on. But yeah, it's just a great band to look out for. Um, the next two were the cha um, record shop finds. And uh, a bit more punk coming up, you've been warned. But the first two that I was discussing earlier was Rainbow. I picked this one up, Greg. Uh, this is um, brilliant. Um, it's the 1975 Ricky Blackmore's Rainbow. This is the remaster. But I don't get, care if it's been remastered or if it's an original. Anything with Ronnie James Dio singing on it goes into my collection at all, every day of the week. I know Greg the Egg's a massive Blackmore fan, but I think the, you know with Dio's vocals, just amazing. And um, I'm, I listen to his stuff all day. But this is a Greg fix, what we're going to call a Greg fix. And that's a black, uh, Rich, Richie there, look. There's all the band members there. But yeah, I'll pick this one up all day long. I don't care if I've sort of got like 20 copies of this. But that's the track listing. But yeah, I'll pick this little baby up. Talking of Rainbow, I also picked up their third album. Does anybody know what it is? That's your starter for 10, Greg. Uh, correct, you've got it right. It's this album. It's an original press of um, Long Live Rock and Roll. I believe this is their third album as well. And I think it was recorded in France. But uh, I just picked this up. This is another album. It's in beautiful condition. Uh, the only thing is, there's a coffee stain on it. I think somebody's been drinking their coffee. There's no sign of ring wear or anything like that. But I think what they've done is somebody's been using it as a coffee mat in its uh, previous life. This again is Blackmore and Dio, and uh, it's just got a great track listing at the back, and you get a nice little gatefold sleeve with it. Long live rock and roll, and um, amen to that. And you get the record, which was on Polydor, and um, that's it there. Uh, unfortunately, that will have to be replaced. It's got one of these famous um, labels on. Plastic bags can be dangerous. Oh, it brings back memories. It is, believe you me, it uh, smells finally. It's in great, great nick look. But yeah, I can't wait to give that a spin when I get home. But the, the last album I bought is uh, a punk band. And this is one for Greg to look out for. And that's GBH. Now, they got their name GBH because one of the members, I think, was going to court at the time because he actually did get charged with GBH. But uh, this is an awesome band. But alas, it hasn't got diplomatic immunity as the track I'm after. I've got about two or three of their records, but I can't seem to find the one with G uh, diplomatic immunity on that. Check that one out, Greg. That's a brilliant track. If anybody does co come across it on CD4, uh, hit me up below. I'm definitely interested. But yeah, it's a bit of punk. I think they were formed about 1978. They've been going forever. They're just brilliant, brilliant punk band. Um, I want to ask, Greg also, I think Scott, this is Scott, he talked about UK subs. That was another band I heard mentioned on, on the um, for, um, BC. They're still going. They, they played at a local pub in the West Midlands. But unfortunately I couldn't go. But uh, UK subs are still going strong. 
a uh, lot of these punk bands you see a lot of the records in our shop uh, like the exploited um, that sort of stuff they're all still going as well but uh, this is a great ba uh, great band this is the one I picked up a lot of these uh, punk albums do come at a high price tag and uh, I did pay £20 for a conflict album and at the end of the day you've got to weigh your options up do I want a punk album which I love punk don't get me wrong or would I rather spend the money on a heavy metal album well this is me gone and I hope to God I'm going home Monday unconfirmed but uh, I hope to God I don't buy that Ramones album it's, it's in the back of my head you know when you're a record collector and you see something really really good it, it, like should I buy it should I buy it should I buy it but I'm gonna to, alas I'm going to have to leave that Ramones record but um, thanks for uh, putting up with me again and uh, hopefully I'm going to make three or four more videos when I get home next week so I'm really behind and I've got a few bits to show you I was going to make it last week uh, when I got home but unfortunately I was in no fit state to do anything because uh, if you saw my previous video you know what happened on my trip back but anyway this is the Zulu scene have a fantastic day uh, be kind to each other and uh, I'm saying goodbye to our